Hello, welcome to ExcelExperts.com. Today's VBA tip is on how to create an index page. Let me just show you what I mean by that. If I click this button here, notice I've got three sheets. Sheet one, two, three. Boom. I've now got an index sheet with the word index and then sheet one, sheet two, sheet three. I can click on this and it takes me to sheet one. I can go back and click on that, it takes me to sheet three. So very quick and easy index. If you want to follow along with the tip, go to xlexperts.com and under search this site, just type create an index page. You'll get the tip, a uh, spreadsheet to download with all the code and you can follow along with it and read all the text and get access to lots of other free training videos. So let's have a look at the code. If I right click assign macro edit, what have we got here? So create index, I'll step through. Application.displayAlerts is false. The reason we've got this is so that if we run the code again, it doesn't ask us if we're sure we want to delete the index page. This is code to delete the index page if it already exists. If it doesn't exist, it would error if, uh, if we ran this code without the on error resume next. So we wrap this with two things, on error resume next and on error go to zero. So this is basically code to delete sheet whether it exists or not. We then set a variable equal to sheets.add. This bit here says where should we put it before sheets one. So basically we add a sheet before the first current sheet so therefore it will be the first sheet. Step through. We call it a name, index, we say row is one. So for each sheet in this workbook.sheets, now we've got all the sheets we had before plus the index. So if row is one, then we know we've got the index sheet. So we say the first value of that is index. I'm going to scroll down so we can see what's happening. Uh, increment the row, otherwise, ActiveSheet.hyperlinks.add. So we can add a hyperlink to the where the cell that we're adding is the next row because we added it. We added one to I row. The sub address is the sheet name and A1. So that means if we're looping through this sheet here, it will link to there because A1 is there. Text to display. Well, I've just decided to display the sheet name. So let's go back here and step through this. So that adds to sheet one, sheet two, sheet three. Can then go on there and click on it. You've been listening to excelexperts.com on how to create an index page through VBA.